Hi, big tractor power fans. I'm out in a Western Kentucky winter wheat field with a 600 horsepower Challenger MT875E track tractor pulling a 60 foot wide Porsche Panther air drill and SW600 commodity cart. These machines are planting a second crop of soybeans right after the winter wheat is being harvested. We're going to see and hear this machinery at work as well as climb up in the cab to see the operator's perspective of planting crops 60 feet wide with this big air drill. And we'll also see the drill filled up with soybean seeds from a Mac R series tender truck. In Western Kentucky, winter wheat is harvested from late May into early June, and as the combines are rolling across the field harvesting the crop, a tractor and seeder are always running right behind them seeding a second crop of soybeans. This farm utilizes their Challenger MT875E tractor and 60-foot wide Horse Panther air drill to seed their double crop soybeans. This drill is known as a hoe style drill. It uses shanks to inject the seed directly into the ground. This is a no-till operation. The seeds are placed directly under the wheat stubble. Without disturbing it, the wheat stubble and straw from the harvested crop are left on the surface. They help hold in moisture to help the new seedlings grow and also help reduce weed growth as a new crop begins to emerge from the ground. The Horse Panther 60 air drill is seeding the soybean crop in 15 inch spaced rows. Some viewers might ask why the farm is utilizing a 600 horsepower tractor to pull a 60 foot wide air drill. The number one reason is the seeding conditions. It's summertime, it's 90 degrees out, and the sun has really baked the soil. It's hardened and you're seeding directly into fresh cut wheat stubble with green straw laying on top. The tractor is moving at eight miles per hour to stay up with the combines and seed the crop as quickly as possible. In addition to the seeding conditions, it's pulling a 600 bushel commodity tank and it doesn't hurt to have extra power up front to pull the weight of the machinery to seed the crop efficiently. Double crop soybeans are a major economic advantage for farmers in western Kentucky because they are able to harvest two crops from one field in one season. In June, they're harvesting wheat. They will seed these soybeans into the wheat stubble and then come back in October and harvest a second crop of soybeans. Why don't we climb up in the cab of the Challenger MT875E and see the operator's perspective as they seed the new crop of soybeans into the winter wheat stubble. As we saw up in the cab, it's time to fill up the Horse SW600 commodity tank. It was down to its last bushel of soybean seeds. This R-Series Mack truck is fitted with a seed tender that will fill the tank up so it can get right back to seeding that new crop of soybeans.
hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field and up in the cab of this big machinery seeing double crop soybeans seeded in western Kentucky. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 